Welcome to the Daily Row devotional podcast. This podcast presents biblical principles in a practical way that will help you discover more about God and grow in His Word. And now your host, Stacy Ann Rowe. Hi friends, welcome to another daily devotional. Today's topic is Be a Promise Keeper. The Bible verse comes to us from Joshua 9 verse 18 and it reads, And the children of Israel smote them not, because the princes of the congregation had sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel, and all the congregation murmured against the princes. Be a promise keeper. It is the nature of God, and as a son of God, you must reflect his nature. Let your word be your bond. The children of Israel had sworn to the people of Gibeon that they would do them no harm. That commitment was based on deception that was found out three days later. When they realized that this was the case, they went down to where the people of Gibeon lived to confront them on the matter. The princes who were responsible for the mistake were pressured by the congregation to act decisively. However, the princes responded to the pressure by reminding the congregation of the promise they had made not to hurt them, and that having made that commitment, they cannot go back on their word. The reason for their position was the persuasion that by acting inconsistent to what they had promised would incur the wrath of God. The princes of Israel recognized that they served a God who is a promise keeper and acting contrary to that would put them in danger of being punished by God. Be slow to make promises that you might not be able to keep. Numbers 30 verse 2 says, If a man makes a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to obligate himself by a pledge, He must not break his word. He must do everything he has promised. Keeping promises is not just a social expectation. It is the word of God. The princes of Israel understood this, hence they could not go back on their word because it would harm them. Since the Israelites could not harm the people of Gibeon despite their deception, They chose to find other ways to hold them accountable by making them servants to hew wood and draw water from the house of the Lord. Life application. Give careful attention to making any future promise. First, consider all facts to ensure that it is a promise that you can keep. Also, when you make a promise, do whatever it takes to keep that promise. Let us pray. Lord, allow me to consider carefully any promise I will make to others before making a commitment. Prevent me from making any rash decisions. In Jesus' name, amen.